Welcome to the SSL Cup Round 2 First Leg. My name is TVC and I'll be your host for today. And we've got a great set of games coming for you today. Uh, we've got Montreal, who find themselves in 8th place in the league, uh, visiting Tokyo, who find themselves in 9th place in the league for our first match, real bo battle of the bottom dwellers, and then we're headed over to Spain, Catalonia, where Inter London will be taking them on, and then over to Sydney, where the league leaders will be playing Cairo City, uh, the league bottom dwellers. And then we have Hollywood, playing Athena at the United Visiting Hollywood to end our day. But first, back to the Battle of the Bottom Dwellers. We have Montreal United visiting Tokyo. Uh, we will see Montreal playing in a 4-3-3 with their wings and backs pushed up high as they regularly do. And we will see Tokyo playing with their 3-5-2 as they have all season uh, with that right wing overload. Going to be interesting to see uh, how this game plays out. Uh, Tokyo having overcome Seoul in the, I believe, first round? Inaugural first round of the SSL Cup. And uh, Montreal having that bye. Tokyo have been on the upswing, though. We have 20 minutes clocked by, and uh, Montreal seem to be holding the ball much better than Tokyo, holding about 76% of the ball here, though, uh, as the ball goes out to Krustis uh, before being cleared from the six-yard box. It's out to Papadopoulos. Uh, past Papadopoulos, I apologize. Uh, ball to Jaeger now. Out to the wing to Krustis. He finds Drew Drew to in now and slots it home! Beautiful pass by Gianni Christmas to find Silvery Drude, who will make it one nothing for the visitors. Uh, important to note that away goals do count in our cup, so that goal incredibly important, or could very well be important down the line. Drude, I believe that is his third goal in all competitions now. As uh, Tokyo have an opportunity, ball out wide. Dyson Vitz over to uh, Solderberg. Uh, Solderberg now. Ball cleared out to the left side for Tokyo. Ball in, and Rise heads the ball just barely over the net. Uh, over the outstretched hands of Adam Rage. Tokyo playing with Cody Hill in net today. The uh, rookie making his fifth start of the season. Ball to Montreal now, Lexington carrying it, uh, challenged by Rise, and he finds the pass down the line for Crucis. Crucis with a chance to clear the, and the ball is cleared by Roop. Possession now again to Montreal. Uh, Tokyo finding it very difficult to hang on to the ball today. Not surprising as t Montreal in now, Bissett. Brilliant save by the young goalkeeper, Cody Hill. Tokyo with a chance now on a set piece, deep. Playing on that right wing side, we've surprisingly not seen a lot of opportunities over there for them. Montreal recovering now, looking to bring the ball back up the park. Cruz is way down the sideline there, that's what he loves to do, and J Silvery Jude will find Biscuit, who nearly puts an off chance into the back of the net. Great save by Cody Hill needed to be made there. Tokyo with an opportunity now. Isagi will find Jay Brzezinski out wide. Jay finding this year, this year finding the head of Rise and Adam Rage with the gloves to make the save. Great chance for Tokyo, one of their Three shots on target of the half, and uh, the three that they've had have looked very good. Uh, Montreal having the four shots on net, and but 70% of the possession. Uh, obviously putting the one early away by Silvery Jude.
Ball starts off on Tokyo side now as they bring it down the field. We will see if they can maintain any better than that 70% or uh, 30% possession they had as this year is tackled by uh, Papa Stopopoulos. I'm going to say that differently every single time. I'm so sorry. Time ticking away here now. We're into the 55th minute. Uh, Tokyo seeming to hold the ball just a little bit better this half. But uh, Montreal still maintaining the lion's share of possession right around the 70% mark. Uh, chance for Montreal now. So we drew it up the right-hand side. Ball goes into Biscuit. Biscuit with room. But finds the feet of Rossetti for a cleared ball. Corner now for uh, Montreal. Let's intend to take. Ball in. And cleared by Rossetti. There is a chance outside, and that is a brilliant save by Adam Rage, one of the many we've seen him make today. And a free kick just outside the box by Isagi. Isagi, having only scored one this season, was looking to make it two there. Ball held by uh, Montreal before being cleared deep into uh, Tokyo territory. Ball is won by Rise over to Isagi, who has an opportunity now, going wide to Visir on the right-hand side, as they love to do. Visir in space now. Brzezinski, ball in, and nearly finds the back of the net. Lexington good to make the save, but Rise is offside anyways. Isagi with a free kick outside the box, and Rise very nearly puts that into the net again. Hits the crossbar of the corner off of set piece, and Tokyo have to be fuming right now. Tokyo with the chance now back up that right hand side. Papa Stapadopoulos there to make the interception and clear. Uh, bat ball now being held by Montreal. Very wise as they uh, run down the clock. Crucis will run down the field and uh, is intercepted cleanly. Ball to Tokyo. We'll see if Tokyo takes a longer up shot here as they uh, run down on time. It is a two-legged match, so being 1-0 down at home is not the worst here. As Rise very nearly puts a ball into the exact same place, uh, but puts it wide this time. No save being to be made by Adam Rage there. Our Rise picking up the ball now with Tokyo seeming to hold most of their possession so far. Visser dribbling down the right uh, and it is intercepted by Montreal who will look to turn it around quickly here. Papa Stapadopoulos lodge up with the ball now in the midfield back to Doofenshmirtz and we will see Montreal holding that ball as I mentioned earlier uh, out to the right hand side now they will switch the field Cruz is uh, looking to drive down the field, likely going for a cross here. Finds the ball short to Jaeger, who finds it back to Cruz, playing a 1 2. Different Schmerz uh, in the backfield there, maintaining. Laudrup now with a long shot. And uh, we will have a free kick as one of the Montreal players finds themselves offside. Uh, unfortunately, we will also have a break as there is an injury to Tokyo's defensive midfielder that is. Uh, Aubon Touchette, and uh, he will have to come off. Tokyo, unfortunately, not having any uh, bots set up, uh, are going to play the striker bot out of position here and likely see the end of the game tick away. Lexington with a late chance now here for Montreal on the corner. Ball comes in and cleared by Tokyo. Though held in the zone by Ansa for Montreal now. Will we see a second chance? Fashion Fitz goes in. Druid with the ball now. And the rebound very nearly finds the feet of a Montreal player for the tap-in. I believe that would have been Ansa. 93rd minute here with a throw in. Crucis with a late drive down the sideline as the referee will blow the whistle. 1-0 for the visitors, uh, and Montreal will have to be happy with that. They will take a 1-0 advantage, slim as it may be, uh, home to Montreal. Tokyo have to be a little bit 
bitter about their opportunities today. Seven shots on net, a couple of them looking very good, and one hitting the crossbar, but unable to find the net uh, to make the most of their meager 31% possession today. And up next, we have Inter London playing CF Catalonia. Inter London visiting Catalonia. Last time these two teams met, it was a 1 0 victory at Catalonia. Sorry, for Catalonia at Catalonia. And welcome back! Inter London will be kicking off here as the visitors in our second match of the SSL Cup quarterfinals first leg. Ball is in London's half of the field now as they will hold possession. Liang Kai with a drive down the uh, left hand side as uh, the ball is cleared by Catalonia. Both teams opting to come out in a 4-3-3 today. We will see whom is the better of the uh, craftsmen amongst them. Time with the drive cross into the box, and that is cleared by Catalonia, but maintained by London now. A long ball into the box, again cleared by Catalonia. McGurk holding the ball for London, Clements on the right. Gordon now and Clements with a long shot and a great goal into the top corner. That is going to be on every highlight reel that I can imagine. That must have been from 30 yards out as he uh, just beats Busquets in a 1-2 and drives the ball into the top left-hand corner of the net. Gunnarsson with no chance for the save there. And... London find themselves up 1-0. McPossum on the outside of the box here with a free kick that is into the uh, Inter London wall. Catalonia with chances now, though Fernandez with an interception for uh, Inter London. Inter London with a set piece play now. Uh, and time with the ball. Ball will be played back to Scorcia. Uh, Nessie on the right now. Gordon will find Asper quite a deep, who finds Liang Kai in space. Shot is blocked by FC Catalonia. Ball retained by Gordon, and the clock runs down. Liang Kai with the ball for Inter London now. London making the most of their opportunities and seeming to have the sole share of highlights as the ball goes into the box and put over the net by Connor Aspilicueta. Uh, Inter London maintaining about 38% possession while FC Catalonia having 62 now as the ball is crossed into the head of Papadopoulos. I believe that actually found the head of Julianson first before finding Papadopoulos on the throw in here and the cross from Bins Vins. I apologize that was the foot of Papadopoulos that the head of Julianson found and we are tied 1-1. One of the ball down deep now. Liang Kai finding space on the left now with the uh, and driving the ball. Fernandez. Nandes holding the ball for Inter London and finding uh, Ruma, who will clear the ball down the field. Uh, Inter London maintaining possession here uh, before losing out to FC Catalonia. FC Catalonia with a drive down the right now, Papadopoulos, holding the ball up and uh, finding his teammate Sinclair, who will find Okamoto and play a 1 2 down the sideline before crossing the ball into the corner, uh, finding Clark, but unable to find a good opportunity on the net. Yeboah equal to the save. 
through 45 minutes, we are tied 1-1 at FC Catalonia. Uh, both teams making quite a couple of shots. Uh, Catalonia only being able to find the two from the wide space on net, the one resulting in that goal, and Inter London having only one sh shot on net, and that being the long bomb from Clement. That is Clemence's 7th goal of the season in all competitions. And I believe that is Papadopoulos' 5th in all competitions as well. Players restarted on the right hand side of the field. The uh, FC Catalonia maintaining possession now. Finding themselves with an opportunity on the edge of the Inter London box. Ball finds Yarvian. I butchered that one. Sinclair now with a deep chance, and Tony Abo having to make a big save for Inter London to keep them tied on the game. Ball clear to Nessie now, who will find the ball to Clements. Who Scored that wonder goal earlier. Clements driving down the right hand side now before finding Nessie and Asperqueta holding the ball, playing a 1 2 and through here with a shot from just outside the penalty spot into the bottom corner of the net. And Inter London find themselves up 2 1 early into the second half. Great team play here as Jasper Kota drops deep before playing that 1-2 with Clements and uh, slotting home the ball. That would be... I believe Jasper Kota's 7th? No, ninth of the season, I apologize. Then with a chance for uh, FC Catalonia now. Okamoto dribbling past time and finding Clark in open space now. Clark, ball back to Papadopoulos and... Guys, a brilliant opportunity. I believe that was actually saved by Tony Yeboah. I apologize. Brilliant save by Yeboah, and uh, the ensuing corner clears now. Okamoto holding possession for FC Catalonia at the edge of the net here. Edge of the box, I apologize. Papadopoulos now. Ball back to Busquets, who will find Okamoto in space, and the shot is uh, into time, but Okamoto is offside. Okomo skinning time, time, and time again. And Vin's down the right-hand side here, playing that uh, wide drive really well as the ball is cleared into, uh, well, crossed into Clark and forcing Tony Aboa to make yet another save. That's five shots on net for Catalonia now. Uh, the one in, and uh, they find themselves one down. Time ticking away now, 71 minutes. Uh, passed as Inter London find themselves with an opportunity down the right hand side off a set piece throw in. Nessie now with the ball down deep. Clements is tackled and the ball takes a dangerous bounce to Fernandez before being cleared by FC Catalonia. Time is ticking away here. A reminder that there is two legs and away goals do count. Uh, the visitors enter London 2 1 up on FC Catalan. Sorry, CF Catalan. Ball is cleared to Inter London now. Inter London maintaining possession down that right hand side and clear and crosses the ball into Asper Queta. A late chance for Inter London, but uh, Gunnarsson up for the save. Corner now for Inter London. Ball cleared to Clements on that right hand side. Driving once again. Crossed and Gunnarsson able to pick up the ball and end the game. Uh, FC Catalonia 1, Inter London 2. FC Catalonia unable to make the uh, most of their 67% possession today, and while uh, Inter London having those 7 shots of the 33, and able to put away the 2 that they needed. Uh, Inter London now coming home with a two goal away goal lead. Uh, will FC Catalonia hold that one home goal? They will need to score at least two visiting uh, Inter London. 
if they hope to make it past the quarterfinal, that is. Uh, next up, we will have Cairo City playing the league leaders, Sydney City. Battle of Two Cities. That and more when we come back. And welcome back. We have league leader Sydney City playing at home against Cairo City in the first round of the quarterfinals of the SSL Cup. Cairo City finding themselves unfortunately 10th in the league at the very bottom and uh, against a difficult opponent in the expansion team. And Torres, Franco Torres from Cairo City gets them off to an absolute banger in the first minute. Overhead tap in just a volley from up high and problem finding himself with a bit of a problem there and Cairo City off to a brilliant early lead just another reminder that uh, Wiggles are on and Cairo City are visiting Sydney City here so that goal will mean a lot to them Shaka holding the ball here for Sydney now. Lockyer dribbling into the midfield, uh, Hokovoto. And ball into Havoc, unable to uh, find the net there. Totally forgot to uh, speak about positions as we uh, as we got off to such a brilliant start. And Calvatore almost makes it too for Cairo City with a free kick just outside of the box, curling into the crossbar. Sydney, uh, very lucky not to be 2 0 down right now. Cairo City holding the ball. Larson with inside chance and just sends it absolutely wide. Sydney City will need to figure it out. They are getting carved apart way too easily in the first half here by Cairo City. Uh, Sydney City playing in that 4 1 4 1 formation with that one defensive midfielder and two attacking midfielders. A ball in the box of Cairo City held by Sydney now. Uh, ball back to Freddie and uh, G Fuel passing it around. Cairo City out, uh, and that is a volley from 44. What a great shot by 44. Uh, G Field with a chance on the outside of the box, and Black nearly punishes the uh, set piece opportunity there. A brilliant save by Barflet needed to be made there uh, for Cairo City to still remain with the lead. Ball played back by Sydney now. That goal for Franco Torres, his third in the season now, as uh, 44 through and nearly finds the net, but puts the ball just wide. 44 looking to continue his uh, SSL Cup scoring streak now, having scored in both the, the opening uh, match games against a well, one-sided victory uh, for Sydney City against uh, Buenos Aires. G Fuel down the sideline now as the ball is cleared by Cairo, but uh, maintained possession now uh, for Sydney. Possible with a chance blocked, and G Fuel on the left-hand side finds his cross blocked by Antivieri. Sydney City with a corner here and an opportunity to tie the game. The ball finds ahead of 44, who finds the foot of Havoc, and Havoc scores to put Sydney City on equal terms with Cairo City. I thought that might have been just offside there, but the referees will correct me, and it is onside. Thank you for the replay. And that will be a goal for Sydney City to tie the game.
Cairo with a shot and opportunity of a cross off uh, it, over the net. Apologies. Uh, that goal for Havoc, only his second, sorry, his third on the season now as he holds the ball, dribbling down the left. Possible now, and G Field with a shot from just outside the box. Cairo City forced to clear it deep, and uh, Sydney City holding on to that ball. Possible with a nearly ugly tackle, and uh, Jeeves returns to the favor. Hulk Voda holds the ball now, and uh, ball is cleared by Cairo City. Havoc holding the ball, and Fred chipping it over, finding G Field in the box, but unable to cross, and the uh, ball is cleared by Cairo City for a Sydney corner. Sydney looking to double their tally here. G Fuel with the cross into the box and headed over the net. And it looks like we will head into halftime here, tied 1 1. Sydney City playing Cairo City in the SSL quarterfinals first round. Interestingly enough, the game seems to be tied. Uh, pretty well in possession, each team maintaining about 50% of the ball, uh, but uh, Sydney just a little more proficient, putting the ball on net, uh, Cairo having seven shots, though only one of them finding the net, uh, and ultimately finding the back of the net, and that was that uh, wonder goal by Franco Torres. We've seen a couple of those today. Cairo City holding the ball now, Torres dribbling down the left, and uh, Jeeves nearly finds a man free in Ayodele, but uh, will unfortunately get intercepted by Sydney City, who has ball in deep in their zone now. Sydney liking to play that uh, more vertical game today, it seems. Uh, manager Pau known for finding 44 often and uh, forcing Barfley to have to make a Brilliant save there. A corner just harmlessly flies over the head of the Cairo City defenders, and uh, they will see themselves with the ball now as an opportunity for them uh, down the field, perhaps. Calvatore holding the ball down deep for clearing it. Uh, down the field and uh, returning possession to Sydney City. Sydney with a chance in return now. 44 finding himself. Uh, G Field now. Havoc out on the left hand side. Black holding the ball and finds Havoc on a 1 2. And Havoc will just chip the ball over the net uh, as that is touched by Pumpernickel. Oh, Pumpernickel, apologies. And a corner for G Field at Sydney City. Cairo clear now, and Cairo find themselves with an opportunity to counter. Unfortunately, uh, turning the ball over here, and Black nearly punishing them on the counter there. Uh, unfortunately, just putting the ball a little bit uh, into the stands, as opposed to into the net. Cairo unable to really penetrate uh, Sydney's defense uh, deeper than the midfield, it seems, as those long ball is just really not working here. Uh, Sydney City with a chance now, a couple of chances in the box, as Cairo having to play stalwart defense now to hold on to their uh, tie game. And Havoc very nearly changing that, uh, finding himself in space and Barfleet needing to make a great save. G Field with an opportunity on the outside of the net now and Freddy finding the foot of 44 off that free kick. 44 will score his league leading 15th goal of the season I believe. Yes, 15 goals in the season for 44. And uh, Sydney City find themselves up 2-1 at home against Cairo City. Cairo City, though, holding just a little more of that possession other than that one shot from Franco Torres in that first minute. Not really able to find themselves any gaps in that Sydney defense. As uh, Sydney will now run that clock down. We are down into the 81st minute, 82nd minute, and ticking now as Cairo clears the ball deep. 
unable to find anyone on that long ball. Larson just not able to connect today. Uh, and Sydney City will regain possession. Malachi Black on the left-hand side. G Fuel on the inside. Havoc now playing that overload all day long. Fred and 44. Jacques with a shot from deep inside the box. Outside the penalty area. Just outside the penalty area. And, uh, well... A little more than just looks out of the I apologize. This looks like it was a little bit outside the box. Uh, so one time shot beats Barfleet and uh, Sydney City up 3 1 against Harrow City now. Uh, clock ticking down here, and uh, we'll likely see Sydney hold on to the ball and see if they can even get a fourth here as 44 finds himself in space. Ball back to Fred, and a long shot just goes over the net, and Barfleet probably happy to see that one not fly into the corner today. Uh, Barfleet with the ball now, and Cairo looking for that last ditch opportunity. Find themselves one last away goal. Let's see if they can bring it home with uh, one less of a deficit. Uh, they cannot, and Sydney City clear the ball deep, and that will be our ball game. Sydney City finding themselves 3-1 up on aggregate as they will visit Cairo City next. Cairo scoring that important away goal though. We will see if they can put uh, two more past Sydney when they return home. Next up we will have Athena playing at Hollywood. Uh, FC Athena are second in the league, Hollywood fourth. And uh, we will see which one of those two will make it past the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, we will have to say goodbye to one of them. But not today. All that and more when we come back. And welcome back to SSL Cup quarterfinal action. We have our fourth and final match of the day. We have FC Athena visiting Hollywood FC in a Clash of the Titans match in the quarterfinals. Athena with a chance early on, a Dubois stop by Sterling, but Dubois finds himself offside anyways. Uh, Athena playing in their, I believe it is a 4 2 4, uh, exploiting those wings as they love to play wide, uh, and Hollywood FC lining up in their trademark 4 3 3 narrow with those big three strikers up front. Athena with a wide chance now as Dubois puts the ball over the net to contest it by Yarrow. But FC Athena with another opportunity on that uh, wing there. And uh, ball once again cleared by Yarrow Rashford now for uh, Hollywood. And Taka finds himself in space. Anderson more than up to the challenge. Outside the penalty spot and uh, with a brilliant save to deny Hollywood from their first goal of the evening. Uh, though Gerard will pick up the ball now. Taka and... Hunter Jones, I'm going to need to see a replay of that because um, I almost thought Joker put that into his own net. Um, it must have been an interception of some sort here by Hollywood as uh, they will find themselves up one nothing now. Let's see it once again and there it is, a poor touch by Joker finds Jones who puts that right past a surging Anderson. And uh, Hollywood FC find themselves up one nothing at home now. Joker with a chance on the corner for uh, Athena, and the ball goes over the net. Uh, and uh, they will be disappointed to see that, uh, though many more chances to come as the match goes on. 
Hunter Jones, I believe that is his sixth goal of the season for Hollywood today. Ball going back and forth between uh, Hollywood and Athena as we play ping pong in the midfield. Taka finding himself in space once again, and Ryman up for the challenge, sliding deep into the box to take away the shot from Taka, and uh, Gerard will find himself with the corner for uh, for Hollywood now. Ball is cleared to put Nesca, who Hollywood will hold on to possession here, and that is a foul just outside the box by Labovic. Uh, Putinesca with a chance outside the box for Hollywood now on the free kick and the ball into the back post. Anderson with the hands on save to deny a second goal for Hollywood. Uh, 40 minutes past in the first quarter, Hollywood up 1-0. Athena with a chance down uh, deep in the first now for the third minute here and uh, ball is cleared into the stands by Sosley's with a Really great chance in front of the net, unfortunately unable to make the most of that. Uh, ball for Hollywood now by Rashford and finding Jones who drops deep. Jones now and uh, finding Taka in space again, Ryan having to uh, catch up all day today. And uh, Bobby very nearly puts an awkward rebound into the back of the net, but Athena and I will clear the ball just in time. Hollywood looking very, very good despite only having 51% possession of the ball. They maintained uh, the majority of opportunities, uh, having five shots, three of them on net there, and uh, only a couple of them being blocked and cleared off the line there by the and I the, uh, late into the first quarter. The and I holding 49% of the possession, uh, but unable to make as efficient use of it as uh, Hollywood. Having three shots but unable to find the net, uh, two on uh, wayward shots into the stands. Hollywood with the ball down deep and cleared by a V9 now, and uh, we kick off the second half. Hollywood FC up 1-0 at home in the first leg of the SSL Cup quarterfinals. Possible down the left-hand side for Hollywood with the cross now, and Bobby very nearly puts that into the near post corner. Anderson uh, there to make the save, but uh, it goes wide. Ball maintained by Hollywood on a throw, and now Gerard into the midfield with Putinesca. Yarrow finding Putinesca, finding Rashford who finds Bobby, and Bobby finds the back of the net. Is he offside though? We're going to get a replay here, but the flag's looking like it stayed down, and Anderson is not looking happy about that one. Rashford finding the deep ball, uh, and Bobby Anderson, uh, Bobby punishing Anderson on a, a decision to come out of the net. Been working for him today, and uh, Bobby taking the most of that uh, that strategy and just sliding the ball past him as he comes up. Though Athena with an opportunity to down deep, uh, Hollywood will recover and clear. Athena recover before Hollywood intercept. Now Hollywood with another chance to the counter, and the ball goes back and forth in the midfield here. Hollywood surely making gains in the uh, midfield now as they uh, drive the ball down deep. Rossiter out uh, to the left hand side, back into the middle for Rashford. Taka now, and Taka with a deep drive. Unable to find the net there. Though I believe Anderson would have been there if it uh, would have been on net. Sterling with the ball now for, uh, for Hollywood. Un not tested too often tonight by Athena, having a couple of shots fly harmlessly past him. Athena not having very many opportunities in the second now as an opportunity finds itself into the foot of Hollywood. Uh, deep cross by Rosetta, no by Fulcher, apologies. 
Uh, Raymond now on the left side, left hand side, cross in for Athena and cleared by Hollywood. Yoker taking it down the left now for Athena. Athena with a shot by Dubois on a cross by Yoker. One time, unable to find a way to beat Sterling, and uh, that will bring an end to what is likely Athena's most sustained attack on the evening. Uh, unable to punish Hollywood for their lap spare. The Hollywood quick on the ball again here now. Rashford the ball in the 86th minute. Uh, Hollywood up 2 nothing on the evening. Uh, ball into space. Taka is is he offside? Might have been. Uh, doesn't matter as Athena recover. Athena recovers. Apologies. Uh, Hollywood Taka again, and once again this time offside. But uh, even if he wasn't, side the ball. Uh, possible for Hollywood now. Jones on the left, a uh, right hand side. Ball into Bobby now for Hollywood. R Rossiter over to Taka. Taka on the left now. Ball into Rashford. And Athena will intercept and recover as the clock ticks down here. Maybe one last chance for Athena to tie the game. Ball over to the left to for Gin Tonic and Rossiter will clear. Hollywood should run the clock out here. And uh, that is indeed the end of the match. Uh, lead for Hollywood up 2-0 uh, over Athena as they head home to Athens. Hollywood making the most of their 52% possession today and their 11 shots, uh, having five of them on net, two of them able to find the back of the net. Athena and I, meanwhile, managing six shots, only one on net, as a bit of a nightmare in front uh, for Dubois and Isosceles tonight. That goal for Ricky Bobby was his fifth on the season for Hollywood. And that will bring a wrap to our coverage of the SSL Cup Round 2 First Leg. At the end of the day, we have Inter London 2, FCF Catalonia 1, Hollywood FC 2, Athena FC 0, Sydney City 3, Cairo City 1, Tokyo City Nil. Montreal United, one. And that is how we stand headed into the second leg of the SSL Cup quarterfinals. I've been your host, TVC, and I'll catch you next time.